Athabasca University Library Tutorial Video Series. This video will go over searching in ProQuest's ABI Inform Global Database. ProQuest databases are a large gap in many students' searches because our default Discover search does not search ProQuest. Discover does have a ProQuest search link, which you can learn more about by viewing our Finding ProQuest tutorial. This tutorial will show you how to find and navigate the ABI Inform Global Database. By the end of the video, you should be able to understand finding the ABI Inform Global Database, basic searching, narrowing your search, using your sources, advanced searching, and using the thesaurus. You can skip sections by using the table of contents. All right, here we go. Finding the database. To get to the ABI Inform Global Search, you can click on Find Resources and choose Resources by Subject or Title. Then look at Browse Resources and choose Business and Management from the Choose a Subject drop-down menu. This list has many of the resources recommended for business students. It's in alphabetical order and you'll be able to see ABI at the top. From here, you can review or edit which databases you're searching at any point during the search by clicking the top database button. If your topic is interdisciplinary and you want to include other resources or you want to deselect databases that don't have to do with your topic, you can do so here. From the basic search, you can input keywords. I've searched corporate culture and leadership. As you can see, my search found far too many results. Narrowing your search. To narrow, I can begin by using my search filter on the left. For example, I can choose only peer-reviewed scholarly sources. If you're unsure what peer-reviewed means, you should watch our library terminology tutorial. Simply go to the Get Help icon on our library webpage and choose More Research Tutorials. Then scroll down to Library Terminology Tutorials. So, after you've chosen peer-reviewed, you can also narrow based on source type. This shows how many of each source type there are. You can choose to include or exclude different source types. Holding your cursor over the left side of the item will show you what it is. For instance, an academic journal, a book, an ebook, etc. For this search, I want to narrow to only peer-reviewed scholarly journals. Then I'm going to narrow my publication date to articles from the past five years. Depending on your topic, newer is likely more relevant, so that's a good way to narrow your search, but be sure to note different references to some of the older, very relevant scholars on a topic who might be worth reviewing. You can further narrow, or even just see how ProQuest has your search information separated by looking at publication title, document type, subject, company or organization, location, person, and language. By clicking on the More icon, you can choose to include or exclude these options. You can see which filters you have applied in the top left corner and can delete any if you should want to look at the results without them. If your search is still yielding too many results, you may want to narrow your search. If you don't know where to start, see our tutorial on Boolean searching. You can check out the ProQuest Help button on the top right of the screen. Under training slash libguides, there are some useful tools for navigating their searching. The ProQuest Help will provide you with search tips that will aid in using these Boolean operators, wildcard, and truncation codes. Using your sources. If you see an article that looks relevant, you can click on abstract, details, full text, or PDF. The abstract will give you more information about the document, and you can see the subject headings used. These can be a good reference point to improve your search. The full text PDF you can download and save to your computer or hard drive, email, print, or you can cite the article. Make sure you use the drop down menu to choose the correct citation style for your project. And always make sure to double check the citation because it's automated and sometimes the formatting can be a little off. You can also copy and paste this citation to your working bibliography.
You can also save the article's citation information to a citation management software like Mendeley or Zotero. We have webinars available on both of these tools, which you can view on our library webinars page. So make sure to select the RIS format for your Zotero or Mendeley account. The citation can also be saved into your research account in ProQuest that can be synced to your RefWorks account. Advanced Search you can also narrow your search using advanced searching. You can get to the advanced search feature from your existing search, or you can find it in the first search screen. From here, you can fill in a search with each of your topics in a different row with Boolean operators linking them together. You can indicate what field a particular term falls into beside the search box. For instance, if you only want to search sources by a certain author or a particular subject heading, you can use the drop-down bar beside each search box. If you want to use subject headings, check out the Look Up Subjects icon, and it will take you to see the subject headings used. You can also narrow based on similar criteria as the filters on the basic search and select source types, document types, and languages. At the bottom of this search screen, you can choose how you would like your results to be listed. You can also find similar commands in the command line search option, and there are links to the help page we already glanced at to see more on field codes and search tips. Thesaurus. From the advanced search, you can also get to the thesaurus. Another good way to be exact in your searching is to look through the thesaurus. This will tell you which subject terms they use on a topic. If I search corporate culture, I can click on the blue square beside it to see related terms. It suggests using this term instead of organizational culture or work culture. Below are related terms. Some of these might be helpful in expanding or narrowing or defining my search. I can select any of them by checking the white box and choosing words I'd like to search with. If I click on corporate culture itself, I am taken to a page that provides more related terms. In this case, it only has narrower terms, but sometimes there will be broader terms as well. Sometimes definitions are provided with these terms to help specify a topic. Hopefully this tutorial will help you find and navigate the ABI Inform Global Database, narrow your search, open and cite your resources, use the advanced search and help key, and navigate the thesaurus. Have questions? We're here to help. With our library webinars. Research tutorials. You can check our frequently asked questions or contact us.